But he did, and Boxel will be looking to get himself his first pro victory. And seems very loose inside the cage right now, Josh. Yeah, he's ready to go. Um, you know, he, his personality seems very just happy to be in there. Uh, I've seen a, a post from his coaches calling him the mad scientist, and that's exactly what uh, he reminds me of. It's also a big classic striker versus grappler match. Should be a real perfect one to start us out at BTC7. Here we go, BTC Fight fans. This is your first contest of the evening, and it is USA versus Canada. The following contest is being brought to you by Hometown Brew Company and Instant Imprints. This contest will be decided in three rounds or less. Introducing your fighters. First, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the teal trunks trimmed in white. Standing six feet, one inch tall, he weighed in at 173 pounds. He's a freestyle mixed martial artist representing St. Charles MMA. He comes to the BTC cage for his professional debut fight tonight. Fighting out of and representing St. Louis, Missouri, USA, ladies and gentlemen, here is Jeremiah Cartwright. His opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the white trunks trimmed in yellow and black. Standing six feet tall, he weighed in at 170.2 pounds. He's a freestyle mixed martial artist representing New Era Combat Sports. Coming to the BTC cage, looking for his first professional victory tonight with a record of 0-1. Fighting out of and representing Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Colton Boxer. <laughs> Referee Matthew Rocca with fight instruction. Check yourself at all times, follow my instructions at all times. You want to touch gloves, go ahead and do so, make your way back to your points. Ladies and gentlemen, this BTC welterweight contest will be decided in three rounds or less. Cage door is shut. We are ready for an exciting night of action here at BT7. And Colton Boxel is definitely ready, a little anxious. He wants to get out of it right now. So here we go, Matthew Rocca, the third man inside the cage for this opening bout at welterweight between Jeremiah Kurtwright and Colton Boxel. And Boxel shoots in quickly for the takedown, but it's stuffed by Kurtwright. He's going for that single leg. He's eating he's got nice leg sweep. Colton's going to get the back here. Oh, good job by Boxel to escape to the back and looking to hop up, take the back. Well, he's got both hooks in now. Not a good spot to be in for Kurt Wright, especially when they're so dry early in the fight. Yeah, this is exactly the type of fight that Colton Boxel really wanted. He said he was a mad scientist and putting a nice potion together and looks like he may have this he's one. for that rear naked. I can't tell if the chin's underneath or not yet, but he's adjusting. Oh, lost it for there as they're good fight, hand fighting going on, but still the body scissors is in place from Boxel. But we did speak with, when we spoke with uh, Kurt Wright, he did say he's really worked on his jiu-jitsu as well, so he's confident in both aspects wherever this fight may go. This is good for Boxel early. He can make Kurt Wright carry his weight. He's sitting on his back here heavy. Oh, we hunt for the choke again. Still has the back as Kurt Wright thought he was able to escape, and now getting the fight to the ground is Colton Boxel. Trying to get himself flattened out to work in side control, almost get full mount. Kerr Wright's got to look to get that left underhook and turn his turn his body towards Boxel and create space and trying to get, use the cage to stand up. Yeah, got to use your back wall walk a little bit, but you know, I think when you look at Boxel, it doesn't look like the strongest, most impressive guy, but he's got great control and underrated strength. Yeah, he's been right away off the bat. He got one for that takedown, so he knows where this fight wants to go. He's looking up, oh, nice up kick there by Kurt Wright. Solid up kick, and again, that definitely hurt Boxel. And looks like going for the submission now himself is Kurt Wright, but found himself now getting grounded, and pounded on, trying to escape, scramble out of that. And now the fight transitions back in the favor of Kurt Wright. Boxel got a little too anxious there. He had the full mount, was riding a little too high, went for the back and fell off the top. Now he ends himself on the bottom, eating some shots from Kurt Wright. 
pinning down Boxel, rain down a good elbow. Taking some deep breaths in as well is Kurt Wright. And that does exactly where he wants to take the fight. Gets the separation, will go back standing. Both trade some inside leg kicks. Interested to see if uh, Boxer goes for, oh, a nice switch kick. Oh, the right hand hurt him. Oh, and he's stunned. Big right hand stuns Boxel as he goes for the takedown yet again and does Gets get it. it. Now he's getting up on the bottom. But lost it for that split he's second. He, he gets the heel hook. The heel hook. Wow. wow. Unbelievable out of nowhere. Colton Boxel, the engineer by trade, gets his first pro victory with an wow. impressive heel hook. Beautiful, beautiful quick submission. Looked like he was in danger there on the, getting hit, dropped, ends up on the bottom, grabs the heel and finishes it off. Really impressive. Looked like the fight was swaying out of his grasp, but that's the power of jiu-jitsu. Just when you least expect it, crank down on that ankle and gets Kurt Wright to tap, but solid belt to start us off, Josh. Amazing. That's such a scary submission to that heel hook. A lot of time, there's no pain until it, you know, you tear something. So the heel hook is one of the, the scariest submissions in MMA, and Colton just put on a beautiful one in the first round. It was a good set of action. Looked like we thought Kurt Wright was going to maybe turn the tide. But there, as you see, right on the replay, just locked it up beautifully and was able to get the tap with about two minutes, 14 seconds remaining in the first. So an impressive victory for Colton Boxel. Gets his first pro victory over a very game, Jeremiah Kurtwright. Let's make this one a thrift official and throw it inside the cage for Mr. Throwdown, Ladies Pete Trevino. Let's have a big round of applause, please, for both of the fighters in this cage. Your tap out team at two minutes, 57 seconds of the first and final round for your winner by heel hook submission, Colton Boxer. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with the winner, Colton Boxel. Old wow. Your first professional mixed martial arts win. Could you ask for anything better than that? Uh, so you say that again? You asked for a better win than that in the first round, you look submission. Man, no way. That's, uh, I've been working out forever. It's one of my best moves. I love, I love this sport. I love everything about it. I love you, Ottawa. It's the best city. The best city, nation's capital. I wouldn't rather be anywhere else. You're I'm looking for a job. I'm an engineer by tree. I've got an engineering physics degree, a peg, a EIT, two and a half years, 7,000 hours. Got to break into the market. I'd love it if any of you could help me out. I love you all crowd, this is awesome. You can fight any smart. Colton, your opponent, you took the fight on a week's notice. Did that have an effect on you in the training camp at all, not knowing who you're gonna fight? None whatsoever. But. I couldn't be more grateful for the man Jeremiah is. Thank you for coming here, stepping in with me. I wouldn't be here without him. My, my, great, my opponent is my greatest friend in that way. So thank you so much. You're now one and one. What's next for you? Do you want to get back in the BTC cage? What do, what do you want to do next? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, any sponsors, shout outs, anything you want? Just New Era Combat Sports crew, Jeff Rob Thomas here. The best, the best camp I've ever been in. I'm five rungs, I'm the, I'm the man I was always meant to be. Your winner, ladies and gentlemen, Colton Boxel. Colton Boxel, if you're around the Ottawa area needing an engineer, get him a job ASAP. He's smart and can fight, so that's uh, that's a big bonus if you get him. Most engineers wouldn't say they got the ability to get a submission like that, but if you're looking for an engineer with the ability to get a submission, get Colton Boxel. Boxel.